Hello everyone, Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade here. It's time to get an update on what's popping, what's happening in the tropics. Of course, you may be thinking it's hurricane season already, but this year is flying by. Really, once you get past the holidays, it's just full speed ahead. So yes, we've arrived to the second day of hurricane season. Of course, yesterday was the first, and this is the second day of the Atlantic Basin hurricane season. Of course, in the Eastern Pacific, We've been in hurricane season since May 15th. So the one thing that we don't want to happen for this year, of course, is to have a direct impact from a tropical storm or a hurricane. Of course, it only takes one for it to be a very bad, damaging, devastating season. And last year we had that one. Fortunately, it wasn't a major hurricane. Unfortunately, it didn't just kind of sit over Houston for days and days and dump 20, 30, 40 inches of rain. However, even though Hurricane Barrel last year was a quick mover, it still caused quite a bit of damage. In fact, before it reached H-Town, it had peak intensity winds of 165 miles per hour. That was a cat five before it did reach the Texas Gulf Coast, but fortunately it did weaken to a category one and it was in a weaker state, but it still did a lot of damage. 67 tornadoes reported over a three day span across the Eastern US and Right here in Houston, Barrel produced over 12 inches of rainfall for parts of Houston and caused over 2 million Houstonians to be without power. Total damage more than 8 billion. So you really don't even have to have a super powerful hurricane to have a lot of damage. Barrel was a one. We could have a two, three, category four or category five. So hopefully we don't get that this season. However, this is what we are dealing with as far as our chance for tropical activity. This is the official NOAA preseason forecast, and we're talking about a 60% chance for above normal precipitation, or for above normal tropical activity, rather, for the area. So we are monitoring the Eastern Pacific, we are monitoring the Atlantic Basin, and right now the Eastern Pacific is quiet again after tropical storm Alvin. Of course, Alvin developed into a tropical storm last Thursday. It fell apart Saturday right around Cabo, so no longer an issue. But we do have a new development for today. We're watching for possible development off of the southeastern U.S. coast. It's only a low chance right now, but it is something interesting that we are monitoring. So check out South Florida. In between Tampa, Fort Lauderdale, and Miami, there's a ton of rain here. We've got marine warnings, we've got flood advisories, numerous showers and storms rolling across parts of the Florida Peninsula. Right now, this activity is disorganized and it's not even close to being anything tropical. However, it's something to watch because you could see the colder, higher cloud tops of some of those stronger storms on our satellite and they're rolling across Florida. But some of this thunderstorm activity is expected to kind of move just offshore of the southeastern U.S. and kind of hang out or camp out there for the next few days. So really over the next few days, 0% chance for tropical development. But for the next seven days, there will be a low 10% chance that maybe a few of these showers and storms could get better organized. We are expecting at least a non-tropical low to form off of the southeast U.S. coast. That low could develop some tropical characteristics over the next week. So if that happens, it would likely be moving northeast around 10 to 15 miles per hour. So if you do have some plans, maybe some vacation plans to travel over to parts of the Carolina coast, the Georgia coast, maybe right off of the east coast of Florida near Jacksonville, there could be some potential issues. Of course, right now it is a low chance. What does our exclusive Fox weather model show? Well, it shows some scattered development, some showers and storms, maybe a little better organization by Wednesday afternoon right off of the eastern Florida coast in between Palm Bay, Port Orange and Jacksonville. Notice this starts to kind of push north and northeast, maybe bringing some heavy downpours and some gusty wind and maybe some higher tide levels, a little bit of storm surge up towards Charleston and Wilmington. So if this develops, it likely would be more towards Wednesday, Thursday or Friday, a low chance now, but it is something that we are monitoring closely. So likely not coming to H-Town, but still we're looking at it and monitoring for any intensification. What will be coming to Houston will be the Saharan dust. We're about to get into dust season. This comes all the way from the west coast of Africa, and it does push through the Atlantic into the Caribbean, and it will be moving into the Gulf. So by Friday and Saturday, 
you will look up and you'll likely notice a lot of haze or dusty skies. So we are going to experience a bigger chance for hazy, hot, humid weather this weekend. And that means the air quality likely won't be the greatest with all of that dust in the air. So keep that in mind. So a little dust headed our way, but at least we're not talking about any tropical storms or hurricanes. The first name that we'll have once we do get a tropical storm or hurricane would be Andrea. And this is going to be the list that we get those names from as we go through the season. Andrea, Barry, Chantal, all the way down to Wendy, but we're hoping none of those head our way. Of course, with hurricane season officially upon us, we are in kind of the quiet part of hurricane season. Typically June, usually not much action. July, not much more action. But remember, last year on July 8th, Hurricane Barrel came in July. So we can get hurricanes this early in the season, but usually the chance is lower. Once you get into August and especially September, which is the peak of hurricane season, that is when things really start to pop. So certainly keep that in mind. For the October, November months, hurricane season still going strong, especially the first two weeks of October. After that, we kind of start to see things fall off as we get into November. And then, of course, the end of November officially marks us saying goodbye to this year's hurricane season. So we've got a long way to go. We've got several months to get through. And like I said, September 10th being the peak of hurricane season. And we are hoping that we don't get hit by anything. But of course, now is the time to prepare because it is quiet. You don't want to wait until we get a name storm or until we get something heading towards us potentially to start to get that disaster supply kit ready. Go over your insurance papers, make sure you've got that flood insurance, go over your evacuation routes and make sure you've got the supplies you need to stay safe. All right, let's talk about some cruise weather. Maybe you're hopping on a cruise ship or you know some friends, some family that will be heading towards Cozumel, Mexico over the next few days. Oh, there's some good news and some bad news. Cruise stops for today looking hot and steamy, but overall not a ton of rain. But I think after midnight, those rain chances start to go up. Tuesday, not as hot, but there's going to be about a 70 to 80 percent chance for downpours. That's the last thing you want for your cruise weather. Wednesday, still not looking that great. There will be a disturbance that will continue to bring the downpours 85 degrees, and we will have those showers and storms still a good bet around a 60 to 80 percent chance. So if you're hopping on Royal Caribbean, Carnival, or maybe one of the other cruise lines and you are heading towards Cozumel, prepare for, unfortunately, some clouds that'll be thicker and some downpours. But overall, we are monitoring everything happening in the tropics. Of course, we'll have these tropical updates for you daily, but just keep in mind that we do have one potential disturbance now off of the southeastern coast of the U.S. and we will be watching for any additional development. So keep checking back with us at Texas live and local daily. I'll have your tropical update for y'all feature more cities for our cruise forecast and we're going to make sure you are prepared whether you're going on a cruise or whether you're wondering if any tropical action is headed your way. Well, that will do it for your tropical update for today. No tropical storms or hurricanes to worry about just yet, but we are keeping a close eye on the Easter Pacific, the Atlantic, the Caribbean and the Gulf. And of course, if anything pops up, you will be the first to know.